up guys, it's Kisei coming to you back again with another beer review. I do want to apologize that it has been a while since I've uh, released a couple of videos. Um, I've been doing a lot of traveling, I've been moving around everywhere left and right. Uh, and pretty much gonna go ahead and be traveling here again soon but I wanted to make sure I released another video for you all uh, just to let you know I'm still here promise this channel is not dead I, I didn't give up on it or nothing like that it's just been real busy and I don't really have a mobile uh, setup yet but in the meantime let's go ahead and get right into it as we always do uh, today's last is gonna be this bad boy here and please don't forget to like and subscribe as always uh, before we get into this as well. Um, please know that also, I am going to be traveling well, literally tomorrow, so I'm doing this like really quick. Um, I'm actually going to be going to Germany for my birthday. Um, I'm going to specifically go to Munich. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go hit Oktoberfest. They haven't done it in the past two years, and I'm going to be going to Oktoberfest. I got my Lederhosen's, I got my... My shoes, my socks, everything. I got the whole, the whole kit up. Like I went online, kind of purchased some, and tried them on the other day, and it's like I look fantastic. So looking forward to that. And to celebrate that, uh, let's we got a beer here from Munich, Germany, specifically where I'm going to be at during the, that Oktoberfest, right here. Da, 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 da. And this is from Einger. Uh, again, this is from. Uh, a little town south of directly of the major city of Munich and, um, and it's a Bavarian you know beer um, and of course you can even know it's Bavarian by this little symbol here usually this little blue checker you usually see that that kind of uh, indicates that it's like a Bavarian beer kind of made out of the Munich area and whatnot so we're gonna go ahead and pop into it as we always do just pop that top like a drop top it's been a while y'all so Forgive me if I am a little rusty. <laughs> well, I just flew right on off. And uh, I'm gonna pour this in. I believe this is initially as a half pint, uh, but it is kind of like October Festy, so I thought that was just would fit the occasion. I'm also gonna pour this kind of heavy, because from my understanding and research, they usually kind of pour fairly heavy on some of the certain beers over there. So I'm gonna kind of pour heavy on there. The head is gonna be there. And while that time frame is going on, I'm just gonna talk to you a little bit. It was a half pint, but I actually think it was a full pint. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh yeah. So supposedly, uh, again, this is from Einger. Einger is an October. This is a uh, Oktoberfest Marzen. Uh, it's authentic Bavarian festival lager. So this is perfect to get me started here before I pop over there. Um, it's amber colored, rich, full body. Anger is at the foot of the Bavarian Alps, is one of the world's most respected brewery family owned and operated since 1878. That sounds like some intense history there. So definitely glad to be a part of that, be able to, um, you know, taste history and just, you know, if you've been doing it that long, you have to perfect your stuff, right? So I'm expecting this to be like the best thing in the world. Yeah, so this is exactly one pint. I don't know why I said half a pint. I do have one. Like, uh, I guess it's two pints, it's way larger than this. So, uh, I'm expecting maybe these to be the sizes uh, that's gonna be over there. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure many of you, if you don't mind, comment down at the bottom, uh, letting me know. You know, of course, like, subscribe, and comment as always. But uh, specific for that question, like, uh, comment at the bottom, let me know what that is like. If you've ever been, if you've experienced that, look at that, oh my gosh. That, <laughs> That looks beautiful. Just like it, the foam, the head on that is extremely uh, pale. It's very white. Um, it just smells very good already. I can just definitely feel. Smells like uh, I like to just consider it like the German water smell. Um, a lot of the European, uh, more specifically German, like between German and uh, Belgium. There's like these particular smells, and even Ireland kind of has a particular smell to a lot of their beers. It's just like their water is different. Uh, the things that they place in it. It, is. it smells like that. It smells like light, very light, sweet corn, a little bready. Uh, man, it's almost like candy. It's like a like a candied apricot or something. Something like that. It's very sweet, but it kind of also has like a uh, 
like a fruit or maybe a very sweet vegetable like a carrot kind of smell to it very interesting well, let's get into it yeah tastes just like it smells I don't know what that is man it is really good though it's light it's crisp like it's the body the body is light but it's like almost a slight syrupy taste to it so it's practically more so medium like a heavy it's almost like a, a light medium but it's closer to the medium side uh because it's syrupy but that almost like something candy is mixed in there granted it's from germany i'm pretty sure they have the imperial laws over there where they literally only do grain hops water and yeast and that's it so they're they the grains whatever they're utilizing it's definitely got a nice little turn to it but it's just I don't know what that is. It, 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 man, that's, it's really good though. Like if I had to subscribe, uh, you know, uh, describe it, it would be pretty much like a almost like an apricot sweet, a very sweet, but not bad in a bad way. But vegetative, like vegetable taste, veggie taste. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to say carrots because that's not carrots. It's, Something in that realm. So, if you ever had like really sweet carrots, you don't know what I'm talking about. Like, some of the ones that have like caramelized uh, carrots and stuff like that. And that's kind of what it reminds me of. Pretty good, pretty good. And if you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on Untapped. I'm going to go ahead and do that here. And we're just going to kind of get that started as far as the rating. Found it. Of course, I've never had this before. Anger, and just take a quick picture. That's it. Okay. Gotta report this. Please don't forget to follow me on there. It is going to be key underscore say one. And that'll ensure that you can be able to keep up with any of the beers that I have now as well as in the future. Definitely look forward to. Uh, Checking in with you guys both there as well as here comments. Uh, please don't hesitate to do that. If you've ever been to an Oktoberfest, please let me know. Uh, I would love to maybe get some quick insight on uh, what it's like, um, you know, the things that you experience and you know, people that you've met, beers that you've tried, things that you probably would only get there and never probably cross seas. Granted, a lot of stuff are pretty international over there because everybody comes in and I'm sure some things go back out. But nonetheless, that you would probably never uh, just commonly get uh, here in the United States, especially in the South. So, well, that pretty much does it. Thank you so much for uh, checking in uh, with me. Uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, definitely would love to hear from you all, as always. Appreciate you guys for hanging with me. Y'all take care. Have a fantastic rest of the day. Peace.